first morning where I'm not gonna be head butted by Ebony, sadly. Everybody else is here though. So she never got her fun retirement plan. And I'm gonna be hugely disappointed that she's not here to go when I fence off the woods and she can be in Ivy Paradise, which is really, really sad. I was really looking forward to her enjoying that. All that ivy, all she could eat without getting her head stuck in a fence. C'est la vie, as they say. This is the way life goes or the cookie crumbles or whatever. Thank you very, very much for all your uh, messages. Every single one of them was hugely appreciated. So thank you. Here's Judy. And she had a very characterful looking lamb last night. Can we move? Can you back up? Can we see your baby? Where's, where's your baby? Oh, there he is. She, she. Anyway, this lamb has a um, toupee, a toupee and a mustache. Look at that. And it's a female lamb. Yes. So I was thinking of calling it Marcel Marceau. Maybe we'll just have to call it Marcy. Marcy, the cross-dresser lamb, because you look like a boy lamb with your toupee and your mustache. <laughs> a perfect lamb for Wing and a Prayer Farm for their felting projects. They love characterfully marked lambs, and she certainly is. She's a beautiful girl. Ooh! So this is the road, and this is our hedgerow wall, and this is the ram's paddock. And cars have been going over the ditch that I leave open so that the water can go in. So I have to dig that. Otherwise, you walk along here. Oh, this blew open during some time. I'll close that because I don't want the insides to rust. This is my winter hay rack. But this is quite deep. And it was getting into the neighbors. So normally I dig it out, but with the weather being so bad, um, and lambing. I haven't digged it out enough. So you can see it's been going into the neighbors. See, it's flowing into the neighbors. It's flowing there. You can see the water flowing. And then it's flowing into the neighbors and flooding their parking area. So I'm going to dig out the ditch. And this will stop. Look, the neighbor's been putting little dams in, hoping to stop, slow the flow. This is all the neighbor damming it up. So I've got to go now and dig the ditch and it will stop flowing into their place. And all this huge puddle will all flow into our little paddock right here. I must say, it's so beautiful. Puddles, look at that. That's a photograph in a puddle. So, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna show you how this works. This is me with my shovel. I'm gonna dig that out and it, this will shrink. Here comes a car. Hopefully they're not gonna get me soaked. So I'm gonna dig from there and come back up here. And then this will all, all of this will come rushing back and empty through this little culvert. As you can see, I've done it, dug it historically, but um, I haven't recently because of lambing. Dug that far. Now I've got the juicy bit. Literally, just slice it. One, 
and this big one. And there you go. That's the fun part. Look at that. By the way, you try digging with one hand and filming it at the same time. You think I'm doing something weird or not doing enough. There we go. Now. There, flowing, flooding into the field. And that'll get drained. Oh, traffic. Puddle's already narrowed. Puddle was all the way up here. And my little paddock is getting flooded, but that's okay. No sheep are in there for the moment. You can see it's flowing from both directions. So this huge puddle that was flooding the neighbors is gonna disappear. Let's walk back here. It's already stopped flowing into their yard. So this is what farmers do. They sacrifice their own land, getting really saturated, so that people's houses don't. Now, the flow has stopped. There's just a few puddles. And there's a little bit of flow, but it's nearly finished. His little dam is finished. It's flowing a little bit, but it's going to stop any minute now because the puddle that was feeding it is no longer feeding it. Only this tiny trickle left here, but that's going to disappear as it continues to flow. Oh, look, see, there's an island now. <laughs> Now, just a trickle. The big puddle's gone. All down in there. I've got to go dig another culvert further up the road into another of our fields. Water runs downhill and the river is that way. Not this line of trees, the next line of trees and the river's on the other side. This, you can see, this is what's flowing off our land. And I've got to dig out this, um, gateway of ours. There you can see that's one of our fields. But I'm going to dig this out and it'll make, see it was moving past and going on down into that house, on down into the next house. So if I dig this out, it'll stop it cold going any further. So there we go. This is storm damage control, flood patrol, uh, flood control. Whew, can't yeah. talk. There you go, that's dried up. And the water flowing off our land is now flowing down into here. Down towards the river. Fencing starts today. These are all the Clipex things in the woodland. See, we cleared it for this triangle of woodland comes all the way down here, along there, to our lower fields. But I can't wait, and it's so sad because I was really looking forward to seeing ebony coming in here and having a wonderful time eating all the ivy. So it was just gonna be heaven on earth for sweet ebony. But, uh, or bold ebony, as I so often was calling her. But uh, that's not going to happen now, sadly. But this was one of the things I was really looking forward to. Getting her in here to clear up all this ivy. 
And look, stands of bluebells. There's some bluebells. There's a mauve bluebell. And more bluebells here. Look at all these bluebells. Down the road, there'll be bluebells, cow parsley, wood anemones, crocuses, all kinds of stuff. But we have to fence it first so that the sheep can graze off the ivy. This here has been cleared a period of times with trees because the the road. But up there, if you go up there, it is just nothing but ivy. Anyway, poor Ebony. She's not going to be here to enjoy all the ivy. So this is the woodland. We had a lot of trees taken down that were dead on the edge of the laneway. So they wouldn't break the fence or fall into the, across the neighbor. There were a lot of dead ash. Those are the dead ash. But this has let in a huge amount of light. So once it's fenced and grazed, hopefully kind of shady grasses and herbs and legumes will take over here and cow parsley. But it's gonna be beautiful as it develops. Mind you, there's a load of laurel in there that I've slowly got to get rid of. Laurel is the bane of my life, one of them. But look at that beautiful baby spindle right there. Young spindle. So the woodland goes all the way back that way over towards where um, the aquifer is and then down to the road that way. Kind of wraps the field, the great oak field. It kind of wraps around it. Anyway, you can see how that would have been Ebony's paradise on earth. But I'd say she's now gone to a heavenly version. So the fence is gonna go right along here. Hey, little bit. How are you this morning? I've been down unblocking drains and I come up to find we have a new baby. I knew she was lambing because she kept trying to steal lambs from other people. Yeah, you've done well. She's done very well as well, that's Grace. She, hers were, I think we finished with her, must have been half one in the morning, maybe. Something like that, or one, maybe it was one in the morning. But you now, the drains along the road are cleared and you've just given birth. Well done you. Nobody else here having lambs. We have a single here that's having a suckle. Yeah, you good girl. Clever girl. Yeah. yeah. She was last night as well. Okay. And then we have, so we're running out of numbers, as in fewer and fewer sheep due to lamb. Isn't that right? It'd be very interesting when you lamb, Kestrel. You're my favorite hog this year out of the crop of 2022. She was born in 2022. Isn't that right, Kestrel? I look forward to seeing what your baby looks like. When I'm checking lambs, I don't allow the dogs to come, when, particularly when a yo is lambing. And this is these two. Inca sits on Brindle's tail <laughs> and waits. This one just waits and stands. They're so good. But Inca's so funny sitting on Brindle's tail the whole time, waiting for me to finish. This is how wet our land is. Look at that. So wet.
How are you doing, girl? One, two, babies. Oh, and tree. Yeah. Let's just look at this one. Ooh, we're exhausted. Hey, you. You're wet. So, you've had a triplet. Come on, get up. So we've had three babies. A busy mama. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A busy mama. I'm gonna get the iodine. So this is our first triplet in a little while. Yay! You clever girl. You're exhausted. I'm going to give you some nuts. Yeah. You're good mama. Clever girl. Okay, maternity ward. Water and nuts. She's a big sup of water before I turn the video on. So, she's got three little babies. Okay. I'll leave you to it. And Gracie with her two babies. And then there's a yo out in the paddock lambing. <laughs> 